Hey, what's up, YouTube, and welcome back to the Undertale Reddit Gold Sweepstakes! So, this is part two of Snowden, and actually could be very short, I'm not sure. We left off in nice mode, which means I have to go check out everything. Which probably also means that nice mode is gonna win the, on this recording, but we'll see. Hello, tri- um. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? As I picture this, this lady as a southern belle. Uh, let's talk. Say hello. Hiya! Welcome to Snowden! I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where'd you come from? Capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? What to do here? You won't know what to do here at Snowden. Grillby's has food and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. Uh, there's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. Uh, the town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Town history. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. A uh, long story short, we all, deci uh, all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy, fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp at Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. Uh, that door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can bur burrow under the door, forget about it. I, mean, I know my accent is awful, but, you know, deal with it. Your life! Life's the same as usual, a little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom's coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. And that's life, ain't it? Well, so it ain't. I mean, it is. Um, okay. So, I'm pretty sure I have no inventory space, so I'm gonna deal with that first. Uh, ch -ch 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 item. Um, I was right. I have no inventory space. So I'm going to drop a monster candy. It was thrown away. Um, I have to buy at least one thing from everybody I come across. And I'm in nice mode, so I can't buy a weapon, but I can buy armor. So, I didn't get the tough... Oh, wait, that's the weapon. <laughs> okay, so I just wasted money. That was silly. I'm gonna go ahead and drop... That's my punishment for being an idiot. The manly bandana. That's what I wanted to buy. So. Whoop. Nip. Exit. Yay! There we go. I can't believe I actually tried to sell. How long has it been since I played this? Um. Oops. So, let's put on the bandana. I equipped manly bandana. Yay! Um. I can actually use the box now if I want to. I wonder if there's anything I want to put in it. Um. Now, see, if I do this, I'm risking... Oh, hey, there's a tough glove. I'm... Yeah, if I do this, I'm risking that I may not be able to retrieve set items, like uh, the snowman piece, for example, which I think I do want to put away. Um, and I suppose the bandage, too. I can probably sell it at Temi Village. If I can go to Temi Village. I don't even know if I can go to Temi Village. If I'm in naughty mode when that comes up, then I have to bypass it. Let's check out the end. Let's talk. Welcome to Snowden, Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80G. Well, I have to try and stay, but I don't even have 80G. Oh dear, you poor thing. I can only imagine what you've been through. One of the rooms upstairs is empty. You can sleep there for free, okay? Uh-huh. And that's sweet. I didn't know you could do that. This is a little cutscene I didn't know about. Uh... Okay. Hiya! You look like you had a great sleep! Which is incredible because you were though only up there for about two minutes! Free, feel free to come back if you get tired! <laughs> That's hilarious. I did not know about that! I'm discovering things every day. Mom says sleeping can, sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP! What's maximum HP? Well, you know. And did it? I don't know whether it did or not. Hmm. <laughs> Oh well, let's talk to everybody. <clears throat> uh, a lady over there, something about her disturbs me. Oh, let's talk to her. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. <laughs> yeah. Bun 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 bun. Hmm. 
Huffle Teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree-like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents under a decorated tree. <laughs> Good old monster Christmas. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I, I actually had the thought while I was watching the last recording. How would Sans know what stop signs look like? I don't think there are any down here. Now, Monster Kid, we called him, what did we call him? Um, Scraggy, because he looks like the Scraggy Poke. My, my student, that's what my students called him. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. <laughs> Good old Monster Kid. Uh, this town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Politics in the underground. Where dogs are totally in charge. There are fewer dogs in here than there should be, and I, may, I feel sad about that. Where are the other two? I, I can't play with this big dumb guy alone. He'll just win. <laughs> Doing. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. You do that, and power to you. Grilby says nothing. Grilby said... Uh, Will said he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. I'm sure. What about you? What are you saying? Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard. The elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. But I'm tsh. Who are you? The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. <laughs> I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip onto their butts. You and me both, pal. The jukebox is broken. How sad. And... You can't go through the fire exit because you're not made of fire. Aww. Discrimination. Hmm. Isn't human food different from our chef food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. He looks like Spinda. <laughs> no matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and uh, hot guys. Well, I don't know if you're going to find those here. Wonder if I can play poker. No? No? Oh well. Yeah, do, do, do. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our loading crises. Dearness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. <laughs> we all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, uh, so why be morose about it? Uh, that's a good philosophy in general, I think. Hmm? It wasn't that quote, the serenity to accept things I cannot change and so on and so forth. Nah, I, can't, I can never remember it exactly. Let's play monsters and humans! You ain't gonna make me be the human again, are you? Ah, oh, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. Ah, <laughs> oh, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. <laughs> uh, and this is where the fairy drops off. That's right. Okay. Oh, continuing on. Let's go to the library. <sighs> Welcome to the library. Yes, we know the sign is misspelled. I think she's the same species as Alphys. Possibly. I love working on the newspaper. There is so little to report that we just fit it with comics and games. Oh my gosh, I wonder if I can do a Mike Wazowski voice. Um, gosh, I have to think about it. Um, Dad, look in your eye. You're someone who has that has difficulty solving Junior Jumble, aren't you? <laughs> that was as close as I can get. I don't know, I'd have to practice. <coughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now! I am the number one word search creator in the entire underground! I think I solved one of your word searches. Love, hope, compassion. 
This is what people say monster souls are made of, but the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls do don't need these things to exist. Burn! Monster History Part 4 Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city, home. We braved harsh cold, damp swampland, and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. Question mark? Because they are made of magic, monster bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul is struck with the desire to kill, uh, let's just end the chapter here. I don't blame you. It's a little depressing to think about. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm still writing that one. <laughs> While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us, but they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. <laughs> bullet pattern. You know, it took me a long time to get that joke, I'm sad to say. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck! When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. Funny that that would end up in the library. Hmm? Oh, look, it's an overstuffed mailbox. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled papyrus. <laughs> look inside. Sure. It's empty. Oh, wait, that wasn't the nice thing to do. I suppose I should do the nice thing. The nice thing is no. You realize that would be probably illegal. I'm not sure what the laws are here. It's locked, but I know whose house that is. And I know whose shed this is. Ha, 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 ha. Anyway, I think that's all there is to do in Snowden. <sighs> so odd to the show. Oh, dear. And this is where we, uh, well, we find out Papyrus' fate. <clears throat> Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must like to be, must black, black, blood, blood. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, will be your... But... No, 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 this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. <sighs> oh dear, Papyrus, so do you live or die? Let's find out. Oh. Papyrus, now we have to spin again because we have to find out whether it's a terrible betrayal or not. Let's spin. Ah, okay. Well, we just regularly murder Papyrus. Oh, God. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Ouch. I don't think I've ever done this. Like, fought him outside of genocide mode. I just can't work up the heart. This is gonna be so hard. So, you're serious! Then, let's see if you can handle my favorite fabled blue attack! Oh, he skips right to the blue attack. Interesting. It's a good thing I know what's coming! Mahahaha. <laughs> Although I laughed really, really, really hard when I first saw this. Whee! You're all blue now! That's my attack! <laughs> And this song is my jam. I love this song so much. Ooh. Behold! Okay. Now, I'm notoriously bad at this fight, but I'm going to do my best. I wonder if I can perfection it. Papyrus is cackling! Hiya! How high can you jump? Well, I can jump relatively high, Papyrus. You're in charge of the gravity, after all. You'd think you'd know. 
At least I think you're in charge of the gravity. Hmm. Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. I don't think he's... I don't think it's working. Yeah! Don't make me use my special attack! Oh, dear. I was gesticulating. Literally, I was using my hands to gesture as Papyrus might. And forgot to keep my hand on the keyboard. Papyrus is rattling his bones! Ooh, right down the middle. Well, I can almost taste my future popularity! Well, at this rate, not likely. Mm. Ah! Oh yeah, forgot that happened. Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. Hiya! I've still got the stick. Papyrus! Head of the Royal Guard! I did it again! I was gesticulating as Papyrus. It's hard not to make movements with my hands when I'm using that voice. <laughs> really, it is. Papyrus! Unparalleled Spagator! Spagatore! Spag... Spagator! Spag... Spag... I don't know how to pronounce that word! I'm just a skeleton! <laughs> Papyrus whispers something. I skipped it. Darn it. Oh boy, this is a long fight. Undyne will be really proud of me! She's already proud of you, Papyrus. I just... I just happen to know that. I wonder, does Pap do, will Undyne befriend you if you have killed Pap I suppose she. I suppose you can't, can you? Because Papyrus makes it happen. Well, interesting. Very interesting. Papyrus whispers, yeah. So yeah, I may actually not be able to fulfill some of my nice mode things. The king will turn my head in the shape of my smile. And you know what? I actually do 100% believe Asgore would do that. He's such a nice guy. <laughs> Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. Ha! Oh, that was a bad attack. My brother will... will he won't change very much. Nope, he doesn't. Oh, dang. Come on, come on, come on. Man. It's a good thing I'm never going to do the... do the Sans fight on this. Uh, Papyrus is considering his options. Ha! I'll have lots of admirers, but... But, Papyrus? But what? But what? You know, the first time I did this, I didn't realize I could do I could move left and right until halfway through the battle. <laughs> Took more damage than I needed to. How will people know if... How will I know if people sincerely like me? Um... I'm not sure, buddy. But you're a pretty likable skeleton, dude. Whoa. Except that you're extremely narcissistic. Maybe that's why I'm killing you. No, I'm killing you because the wheel told me to. Someone like you is really there! Well, I'm currently attempting to kill you. <laughs> I would hope people like that are rare. Plus... What? Anyway. Behold! My special attack! He still uses it. Go figure. What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey! You stupid dog! Do you hear me? Yeah, Toby, go away. Stop munching on that bone! Hey! What are you doing? Come back with my special attack! Uh, well, I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Papyrus is getting ready for a regular attack. Oh, boy. Here's an absolutely normal attack. Whoa. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay, I am not going to lose this fight. That's just not good. That would be shameful. Although if I... Well, if I were on pacifist, I would have already. Oh, dear. Oh! Uh, no! Fortunately, I know the secret to this little bit. <laughs> Although I didn't the first time I played it, and it got me in some trouble. <laughs> uh, oh, game mechanics. Go away! Go! Go! Shoot! Shoot! Get out! Go! Go! Ma! Well, I... Ma! It's clear! You can't defeat me! Ma, yeah! I can see you shaking in your boots! Therefore I, the great papyrus, elect to grant you pit- Oh no! Oh no! Now's your chance to accept my mercy! That means we have to... Oh my gosh! Whether we wanted to or not, he's getting a betrayal kill. That's terrible! Oh dear. Alas, poor Papyrus! That's a Shakespeare joke! Ha ha ha! Oh god. Well, at least I still have my head! Sorry, Papyrus.
Uh, I'm gonna have to replay this game off off camera just to, you know, redeem myself for being such a god awful person. Well, that's that's that. No befriending Papyrus because he's gone. So, this is the end of the recording. Uh, so hold on to your bets and move on forward into the counting phase. Ma. All right. So. Let's tally up the points, shall we? Uh, during this run, we spared one monster. There really weren't that many random monsters encounters, were there? Uh, we spared Doggo, we spared Greater Dog, and we did not die. And our elapsed time in nice mode was 28 minutes, 49 seconds. Let's look at the red side. Killed one monster, killed Lazar Dog, killed Dogai, betrayed Papyrus, and imperfect puzzles, although that is not worth any negative points, and we were in naughty mode for 25 minutes 15 seconds, so we are in terms of points on the nice side we're at a total of 10 points and on the naughty side at a total of negative 8 leaving the final tally at 2 points so uh, I will be once I finish this video, going on to see whose bet was closest and figure out who the Reddit Gold's going to go to. Um, and I hope you will join me next time and place your bets for Waterfall, which will probably be another two videos because it will go straight from the beginning all the way through to Undyne and beyond. So thank you for watching, thank you for participating, and I'll catch you next time on The Sweepstakes!